right, so here we are back at the 509. We have our gutter machine here. It's an old uh, gutter maker, six inch machine. And it's got this um, drum switch right here for the forward and reverse. And uh, basically you have this switch on here and uh, the washer is right here. You have this here the other there it goes and this you turn this way to go forward and this way to go backwards and um, we use the forward direction so much that it's worn the contacts in there and this is a big barrel switch or drum switch rather and when we opened up the box it was all full of copper dust so I wound up getting another one <coughs> It's a used one in decent shape. And uh, you can see how it says forward and reverse. And it's uh, used, they just cut the wires off. And so we're gonna just swap it out. So before I get started, I'm gonna show you a little bit closer on this drum switch. Um, it's got the, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not an electrician but I'm not sure it's got those, uh, those nuts on there that, um, screw on to hold the, um, the wires in place. You know, there's the little clamps right there on that side. I got to take that loose. I got to pull these wires out, but I'm going to mark them or label them before I do any of this, because like I said, I'm not an electrician. Um, so I'm going to just refer to taking some pictures and, um, just doing it that way. So a lot of this is going to be kind of time consuming but I might uh, take a little bit of video on the way. Okay, so I came, I went ahead and got this out, the main part of it, and I was trying to pull these wires out, but there's these two wires that go in from one and out the other, and so I'm going to have to cut it. So this white one I'm going to have to cut, and I think that's probably it. Yeah, just the white one is all I'm going to have to cut. I'll just splice it. Well, let me take this tape off first and see if I can get in there from there, but I don't think so. No, I'll just rewrap it, but <clears throat> excuse me. I'll just have to cut it right here, and then I should be able to have enough room to splice it back on. So, take these little retainers out of here. One there. <clears throat> this out and we'll be ready to go Sorry about all the time lapses, but like I said earlier, I'm not an electrician. I don't claim to be one. Um, it just seemed fairly simple to be able to replace this, but I keep having to, uh, or wanting to both, uh, refer to my pictures that I took of everything um, before I go to the next step. So I went ahead and checked the picture on the wiring of this, and now I'll go ahead and proceed. Okay, so I drill those holes so I can put these bolts in here because these bolts go in this bracket 
right here and I need to put the cover on there actually I need to put these three screws in here this one and this one but the little square nuts that go in there they're they don't have retainers or anything like that so I got to balance each one in there to put it on there I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal but once I do that I can go ahead and mount this in there with the cover off and then the cover just has one screw in the bottom of it see it there and that's all that holds it so I think it should be not too tough all right so i got so i got all three of those uh fasteners in here you can see them and they had the nut right there. there's another one in there and there's another one right there right there and now i'm going to go ahead and try to put this up here and mount this to the bracket up top here Okay, so we got the switch on. I didn't put the uh, handle on it yet because you can operate it from there, but this handle will go mounted right here. And uh, with this, I can still operate it. And it's mounted safely. Um, I'll just stay away from these wires. Um, I'd rather try it mounted like that versus have it just uh, not mounted and uh, turning the switch. But anyways, we're gonna run, I'm gonna plug it in and just uh, see if it, works properly if it does then we're good to go all right so we got it plugged in and i'm gonna just go ahead and put this handle back on there just for the heck of it and so the switch is mounted everything's hooked up i plugged it in and if we turn the switch this way then that's for it to run the machine forward to run the gutter out this way we push it that way then it's supposed to run reverse so let's check this out real quick all right uh oh made a mistake hold on the switch is on a light switch this is for the compressor i don't want the compressor to turn on but that switch is on this light switch and it's off let's turn that on let's go check it out Okay, here we go. And it works. That's forward, so that's rolling this way. So the metal actually comes out from the bottom, out this way, and through the guillotine, and out this way. This is exciting. This is really good. And then if you stop it, and then you go the opposite way, it goes backwards. Which you're not supposed to use that very often, but you need it in case you run the gutter out a little bit too long you can back it up just a fuzz but yeah this is really awesome so getting ready to sell this machine didn't want to sell it unless it worked properly and once i get everything buttoned up i got to put this other cover back on it and that's where the gutter comes through that opening there and this is where that switch comes through that we just mounted over here and then this is the crimper that crimps the back of the gutter to keep it straight a piece of metal in there so it turns freely but anyways then i can clean up this mess look at my mess i also got to put that uh top cover on to cover up everything up here but let me just show you how it works a little bit you can see all the chains down there all for different rollers and as it pulls the metal through there they go through this series of rollers down here as well forms the front lip of the gutter, which I can show you. For those of y'all don't know who it, what it is, or aren't very familiar with it, this is a, well, that's a used piece. These are all the used pieces, but you can see right here. That's what they look like there. And this is the front lip of the gutter, and that's where that box is with this series of little small rollers forms that, and it makes a little lip underneath here. You can 
see it on this here. Um, sorry, I'm standing on this trailer here. But, uh, oh, anyways. Those rollers form this little lip right there. Well, they form all of this here, but they form that little lip in there because that's where you hook your hidden hanger in as your fastener goes across and then that screws onto the house. This is the back. It should be. That. There you go. Never mind that you got them in there, but that's what your gutter would look like right there on your house. Put a hidden hanger in here. And then that goes across here to the back and then we screw it down. This, by the way, is the difference between five inch and six inch gutter. This is the five inch in here. This is the six inch all the way up to here. This is the bottoms of them. See the difference on them? Oops. The gap here. And then this is the height of the front. So you got a gap, or not a gap, but a difference of about a good inch or so. So about an inch there, about an inch there. And then not quite an inch here, but that's the difference between five inch and six inch gutter. So in the last video section, I forgot to put the outer cover on to the box. And the way the other one was when we took it apart, it was wrapped in electrical tape. They kind of give it a little bit of weather resistance, but that's that one where I showed y'all earlier, uh, this cover here, that it goes on the bottom and it's got a screw that goes in that hole. But I forgot to put it on. So I take the front cover back off and put the cover on. And I also noticed that on the switch, when I was turning it, this was hidden right here. So I thought I had the switch in crooked, but upon further investigation, this other one here, the original one, they ground off the point, as you can see. So I got a not use this one and use this one i'll put this one back on there I'll put it back together but anyways y'all get the gist of it pretty much um i'm gonna put it back together and it should be back in working order so thanks for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check out our other videos we'll see you later back at the 509